So yeah, I'm spending a lot of my um, I do spend a lot of my time, I notice now, I spend a lot of my time not doing anything that's uh, particularly fun, because lots of the fun stuff is not very healthy for you, like drinking's fun, not healthy for you, smoking's fun, not healthy for you, drugs fun, not healthy for you. So I don't really have any of these experiences anymore. Not that I've had many drug experiences anyway. I had one drug experience a few years ago, I took ecstasy once, I don't know if anyone's ever done that. Bit weird, all I can remember is from taking ecstasy, I just remember staying up all night writing positive feedback on eBay. <laughs> Strange evening. Um, I, um, I have a bit of a... I was always scared of taking drugs because when I was at school, we had this big, like, just say no culture. And you were told in school, like, oh, you should always say no to drugs. And that, because ecstasy was a bigger thing when I was at school, I remember them sort of having this uh, thing that we had to remember, this phrase, something that they taught us at school, something like, uh, you can't take... Don't take ecstasy because you've got to be thinking about putting yourself first or something like that. Um, I'm, I might be thinking of I before E. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, school days kind of blend into one. But it's, it's strange how I mention that because I know people that still do drugs that are my age and I sort of think, how do you do it with jobs and responsibilities? Like a friend of mine is in the Navy actually and he still likes to take a lot of drugs and stuff when he, when he can, but he's got a job so he's got responsibilities. I don't know how he does it still. Like, obviously, like, he can't do any drugs when he's like on the boat because he could lose his job. So obviously he doesn't do it then. So he actually does have to remember I before E, except after C. So... Fucking <laughs> 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 mumps it to the right that. Uh, <laughs> absolutely worth it. Right, I'll finish on this a uh, little bit now. Um, Actually, I was thinking about it, but I'm never ill. I met someone that genuinely was ill recently, and I don't know whether it puts me into perspective or not, but it was interesting. I met a friend of mine's sister recently. She's got this condition called narcolepsy. I don't know if you've heard of that. It's when you fall asleep suddenly without any warning. And I didn't realise what a big problem this was, but she just falls asleep suddenly. You don't know what's going to happen. You can fall down the stairs, hit your head. It's a big problem. Well, they started to do that. They now train dogs to look after people with this condition. So she's got one, and dogs are quite easy to train, and they've got good senses. So apparently the dog can tell she's about to fall over just before she does. So they've trained it to warn her. What happens? If she's about to fall over, the dog warns her by running up to her, runs around her in a circle a few times, so she knows what's going to happen. Then she gets on the floor and falls asleep suddenly, but in a safe position on the floor. And I saw this happen the first time we met recently, and I thought that was absolutely amazing to watch. Uh, Mainly because my friend didn't tell me she had narcolepsy. (laughs) Uh, So I thought a dog had just hypnotised a girl. So... uh, (laughs) (laughs) Ha 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 ha!